Good morning, students. So today we are going to discuss about the coach curve. How we are going to implement the coach curve using the QT Creator. First of all, we have to understand about the coach curve. So I have just written coach curve. So you will get the multiple options to learn about the coach curve. So basically, how the coach curve is look like. Let me show you. So the coach curve comes under the fractals. So coach curve is a mathematical curve and it is the easiest or earliest fractal curve to have been described. So how we are going to construct this coach curve? Here we required a. Sorry. Here we required only the triangle that is an equilateral triangle uh, in a coach curve. First of all, we have to draw this equilateral triangle. Then each edge or the side of the equilateral triangle should be divided into the three equal parts. So we have to divide this particular edge into the three equal parts, and the middle part will be again going to construct the equilateral triangle. So this kind of the triangle will be created. After this, according to the order or the levels which we have given, then again this particular edges of the equilateral triangle is divided into the further three parts and this kind of the divisions will be there and again a uh, triangles will be created so this kind of representation is called as the coach curve okay so how we are going to implement in using the qt creator let us see i am going to represent you first of all how it is going i am just running the project So for the implementation of the coach curve using the QT creator, you have to use the text label for the representation of the uh, particular output as well as we required a label for uh, considering or for uh, taking the orders or the levels. If we are having the five points, that means we are having the order is four or we can say degree is four. Okay. So at this moment, we have to, con we have to take the input from the user. How much or uh, how much level or order they require to create for the coach curve? Okay. Just a second, it is taking a time for welding. I am running the project. After running the project, you will know how this is going to be coach curve is created. After building the project and running the particular project, you will get the output like this. So in this form, we are having a text label, a label that is order, that is a level or the order which we are going to mention here, a input box which we are going to take from the user, and, and a push button for the taking the input. So if I am going to give a order of four, then the coach curve is going to be created like this okay so now how uh, this coach curve is going to be implemented so this is the this if i am going to give the input as a one that means the coach curve is going to create only the triangle so this equilateral triangle has been created you can see like this if i am going to give the input the order of two then the coach curve will create the another triangle with while dividing the edges into the three equal parts so now we will see the code here first of all we have to create or we have to use the DDA function paint recursor and a push button push button while we are taking uh, in a UI form then in the main window.cpp we are going to use the Q image that is image 500 cross 500 the resolution of the screen which is going to give the output on a QT creator. On a push button, we are going to use int level, that is the variable name, or we can use the order that we are going to take the input from the user. Now I have given here the equilateral triangle starting and the ending point, that is a static point. So, uh, so the equilateral triangle should be represented in a proper way. X1 is 20, Y1 is 280, X5 is 300, Y5 is 280. Okay, then we are going to create uh, another function in which we are passing the argument that is int order, int x1, y1, x5, y5. 
then in that we are going to calculate the del x del y x2 y x2 y2 x3 y3 and x4 y4 if the order is 1 then we have to create only the triangle okay so we are going to call the values that is x1 y1 x5 y5 the same way if we are having this then we are going to create the triangle with this coordinates this coordinates are given in a static way we are going to call this functions and making this particular triangle if the order is not 1 then we have to calculate the further um, intermediate points that is the equal divisions of a particular age delta x and delta y that is x5 minus of x1 divided by 3 because we require to divide the particular age into the three equal parts in the same way we have to calculate the delta y then we have to calculate the x2 y2 and x4 y4 x2 y2 is x1 plus delta x y1 plus delta y for example if the age is 90 0 to 90 that means 90 minus of 0 divided by 3 that means 30 30 30 it is having the equal parts so x2 y2 will be the 30 and 30 and x4 y4 will be the 60 60 for example and the intermediate point x3 y3 we would like to calculate because we require to make a equilateral triangle on a middle edge so in that we have to calculate the intermediate or the middle point of the particular age x1 plus x5 that is 0 plus 90 divided by 2 that is 45 plus square root of 3 into y1 minus of y5 divided by 6 because we require to make a uh, equilateral triangle of a similar size of age okay so this is the formula which we are going to use to calculate the x3 y3 point then this is the recursive function which we are going to use for calculating uh, the further points that is x2 y2 x3 y3 and x4 y4 while if we are giving some order that is if we are giving an input of 4 that means 4 minus 1 that is 3 that means this loop is going to be considered 4 times so we are going to create number of triangles 4 times so as I have already shown you in the output screen if we are going to give the order of 4 so this particular loop is going to be executed in the 4 times and further the triangle is divided into the smaller part and this is the main DDA function which we are going to use for creating the line segments so that is about the coach curve. So this is the coach curve. Again, I am going to run this. So if I am going to give order 1. So this is the only DDA uh, line algorithm which we are going to use for drawing the single order of coach curve. This particular point is x1, y1. This particular point is x5, y5. And further we are going to divide into the three parts. So you can see like this. Okay. Then if we are going to give the order of 3, so we will get the another triangle. And if we are having 4, then this is the coach curve. Because we have moved from 1 to 4, so that's why the intermediate lines are represented here. If we are going to represent directly this thing, so we will get a proper coach curve without any intermediate lines. This is the coach curve. Okay. Thank you.